welcome back to the channel so finally i had made a switch to the custom rom on my poco and pro it's been just a month since poco and pro came out but already there are tons of roms available for it thanks to the developer of redmi note 9 pro yeah the note 9 pro we all know that the poco and pro shares the same specs with the redmi note 9 series so developer made the custom roms unified as there is only one rom which can work in all the 720g phones from xiaomi they gave the name Mia Tall to the series. Currently, I had installed the Pixie OS based on Android 10, and here are my thoughts on it. So, the Pixie OS is an ASP ROM inspired from the Pixel devices, which also includes some additional nifty features for customization. Now, the first thing I noticed while booting in this ROM is how light and smooth it felt. Everything feels so much snappy compared to the MIUI. Plus, I got around 4 GB of extra space on first boot compared to the MIUI. This is mainly because of the number of loads MIUI comes with. Talking about the features, it comes with typical stock Android features like double tap to wake, ambient display, guest navigation. Plus, there is a separate section for UI customization which includes status bar, quick settings, notification, lock screen, and gestures. Okay, before moving further, I will request you to hit the subscribe button as we are very close to the thousand mark. Now, during my brief usage, I never felt as if I am using an initial build. I don't face any issues whatsoever. All the basic things like the Volt D, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, hotspot, everything is working without any issues. Also, the fingerprint scanner, face and lock, both are working flawlessly. Now, when it comes to battery, I got around 9 to 10 hours of screen on time, depending on the usage, which is on par with the MIUI. Google Camera Go is the default camera app in this ROM, and the app is totally trash. I will highly recommend you to install the Pixel Camera Plus, which is basically a modded Gcam. All the three cameras are working perfectly, be it the normal mode or the night mode. Video is only working for the primary camera and I think that's not a big deal. I had made a dedicated Gcam video for Poco and Tutro. You can check that video for more details. Now the installation process is quite tricky for the M2 Pro as there is no official recovery available as of yet. So do follow the steps carefully mentioned in the description section below. Also make sure to back up everything including the internal memory beforehand as there is a high chance of encryption. I have been looking for the ROM for daily use and I think this is the one. Despite being the first build, Pixie OS never felt like an initial build. It felt so smooth and responsive compared to the MIUI and there were almost zero bugs out there. So I will highly recommend you to check out this ROM if you want to get rid of MIUI. With that said, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, I will catch you guys in the next one.